Hey guys, B-Man here. How are you guys doing today? Today, we've got an awesome one for you guys. I jumped in solo into tier 5 of the Dark Aether. And as you guys can see right here, it's absolutely insane, guys. It's not so much that they're extra healthy and tanky, because they, they don't seem to be any more tanky than they are in tier 3, but just the set, the... Just the quantity of them, how you see here, there's about 10 manglers all shooting at me. And as you see here, just the sheer quantity is what makes this so insane. But as you see right here in this gameplay, even though there's so much, you can and it's possible to just out heal and out tank all of the damage that these things put out so in this video guys i'm just showed you guys i went in i've finally got access to the tier 5 and well this is the game where i've gone through and i unlocked all of the schematics that you can get from this one in one game guys and i'm going to show you guys how to go about this and also i've got my run on how i went about this using my glitches and stuff that i've got tutorials on on this channel so all the people that are following my channel well you'll all be able to do the same glitches that you see me doing in my run and well you might if you've got the same gear you'll be able to go in and do the same stuff but as you see right here we're just out tanking no matter how much there is we're out tanking it but gosh if you can't out tank this stuff this is absolutely insane to do solo but as you see right here it is possible with that said guys let's get in and show you guys exactly this run now for this run guys i started out and do not bring in start out bringing in with supercharged wonder weapons already because if you come into the ether with your wonder weapons already supercharged supercharged meaning they're legendary already turned legendary then when you spawn into here you will have they won't be there and they will be disappeared so for that reason you need to supercharge them once you get in here if you're trying to supercharge them to do that just i've got tutorials exactly explaining how to do this so i'm not going to go in detail on how to do that but as you see right here if you know what you're doing you can see what i'm doing here and you'll be able to do it but pretty much have the weapon you want to supercharge in your second slot drop it out on the ground and open the juggernaut with your fists out and then after the juggernaut you will get that weapon from the second slot and back in your hands and it will be gray rarity and you'll be able to put the legendary ether tool on it and if it's a wonder weapon you'll be able to make it supercharged giving an extra 300 percent damage value now as you see here my two weapons of choice for coming into this ether solo is the scorcher and the vr11 supercharged so i come in just with all the items to be able to do that i come in with two ether uh, two ether tools i come in with two crystals to pack the char pack a punch and i come in with two juggernauts so that i can supercharge them and i come in with the two weapons in my backpack so because i do that i don't have room to bring in other things but if you're not bringing those in i would highly recommend you bring in the casmere grenades because those are really really clutch in this but as you see the extra slots that i had and i was able to i brought in also brought in the casmere grenade with me because those as i said are really clutch so what we're doing here is we're just supercharging the weapons like this we've now got this one supercharged supercharge this pick up our other one and now we're ready to start doing it now if you guys aren't trying to supercharge your weapons here you won't have to do all that you'll just be going from this point here and you'll just be going straight in but because we're supercharging our weapons we took our time to do that now once you're in this ether there's three contracts unfortunately there's only three contracts there's nothing more to do in here so that's all there is but the contracts you'll see are right here now this contract right here is the one that you're going to want to have the casimir grenades for because they'll make it a lot easier for you now there's going to be more abominations everywhere but this is again is why i like to have the supercharged vr11 because if you hit the glowing eye with the supercharged vr11 simple as easy as it's dead so that's what the vr11 supercharge is good for and it will heal your escort vehicle for the escort mission guys so that's all what so why i like the vr11 supercharge also this scorcher you'll see i like just for getting around mainly but also because it is really good at clearing the zombies guys now as you see here just bounce up here if you've got the scorcher and you've got to do these missions here this is what the casimir grenades are really good for because these can be sucking everything up while you're using that and it can give you the time you need to be able to activate that one there now 
Also, your healing aura, that's really good for keeping your dog alive because in this mode, your dog does die quite easily and while your dog is a free self-revive, so it's really handy to have him around. Now for here, as you see, we've just got to go along and do another one. These are pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, guys. It's, there's not much really on this second one here. So if you've got the Scorcher like this, you only just have to blast those couple, and then you can do this one. Now really, if you don't have the Scorcher, the hardest part about this mission here is actually doing it in time, I found it. But if you've got the Scorcher, you can just fly straight from one to the other, and you don't have any trouble of doing this in the time like here. Again, the supercharged Scorcher just makes this mission easy. This is why these are my weapon of choice. Now, if you're doing the Tombstone Glitch, having these every game is no issue for you, so you should be able to get them. All you have to do is find them, obtain them once from a weapon case from grinding out contracts, and once you get it once, put it into your Tombstone and have it there every single game. Now, as you see, the first contract that we complete will give us the schematic for the dog bone. The second contract we complete will give us the schematic for the golden armor plates and then the third contract that you complete will give you the schematic for the knife or it's the other way around i think it might just be um certain contracts give certain ones but you have to do all three in one game i think to get the knife as you'll see from this gameplay here we'll confirm that if i get the armor plates from this next contract that is the case i think that's the case but we'll just confirm that when we get up to that point guys and if that is the case, I think that to be able to get the Etherblade contract, you're going to have to complete all three contracts in one game to do the third contract to be able to get the Etherblade contract to drop. As you see right here, all I'm doing right here is I'm just grabbing those keys from those locations. Those three keys that we grabbed are guaranteed there every time, and they're just to open up some doors around. Now, I'm not going to show you guys on this how to do that, um, where those doors are in that because I wasn't focusing on that that much I was just grabbing those as I was going past guys and also take note don't jump off when you're grabbing that contract like you've seen me do there you can't pull your shoot out while it's holding the <laughs> the contract stuff out and you could cause yourself to die <laughs> as you see here mega abominations are really common in this tier 5 zone so again this is why i choose to bring in the vr11 and have it supercharged because it takes out mega abominations really easy as long as you hit the, the glowing eye now you have to hit that glowing eye for it to be able to take them out super easy because if you don't hit a glowing eye it just does mediocre damage but even then it's still better than other weapons i think but you'll see Mega Abominations are everywhere in this. This tier 5 is absolutely insane. For a solo player, that's for sure. And, well, that's another two Mega Abominations. And shortly, in a few seconds, you'll see we'll just have more Mega Abominations on us as well. So, get used to seeing Mega Abominations like crazy, guys. <laughs> now, there's an ammo box here. In case you want to ammo up your VR11, take note of that. Because it's hard to see them on the map. So, just take note that there's one there. And the VR11, this is what the VR11 is the most clutch for. It keeps your escort vehicle healthy. Now, even when your escort vehicle is quite healthy, you'll see I shoot it, pre-shooting it, to keep it at health. It seems that almost like the VR11 can take it past 100% health, and then it just doesn't take damage for a few for a while after you've shot it. If you take it past the 100% health, so it can you can almost so almost leave it at 100% tanking damage for a while if you shoot it past that 100% health. Now, pretty much that's all this one is. You just want to stay close to it so it keeps moving because as long as you're you're that thing is moving the escort thing is moving anything that hits in front of it will actually get crushed and killed by it so it won't take a lot of damage while it's moving as you see here when it stops this is when it's good to have the casmias because it can get a bit crazy at this point right here i would throw a casmia here i think i do throw a casmia here or i'll go down yep as you see we throw a casmia this is where you want a casmia for now 
I like to bring in about four Kazmiers, two for the um, first mission that you've seen us doing, and to have two for this. One for this point here, and then I like to have another Kazmier at the end as well, because it's also crazy when it's launching the rocket, just to keep it from dying during the launch, as you will see. But as you see, this is just crazy. If you're not, if you're not used to just tanking damage, Good luck with this one solo. I would highly recommend you bring in squads for this one. Now guys, if any of you guys want me to do a guide video on how to get the obtain the four golden items that you need to open up the portal to get into here, I can do that. I have the footage. I just haven't gotten around to making that. So get down in that comment section and let me know and give me that incentive, the extra kick to get around to actually putting that up. But at the moment, I haven't got that down yet. It's just a matter of time and I'll get around to it and we'll get you guys the guide on how to open it up. But I'm not sure how many people will actually need that. So let me know in the comment section if you whether or not you still need the guide on how to get into this area. Because if there's enough people, I'll get around and I'll get my... I'll get onto it. Now, as you see here, look at this sheer amount of damage that we're taking here. This It's just insane. The amount of mini bosses and everything with mega abominations and everything, guys. And yet, I still can't go down. Yeah, guys. It's awesome. And the key to this is having speed cola so you can armor up fast and be killing things. And with the golden armor, I'm pretty sure golden armor makes it so you take reduced damage as well. And as you see here, even while everything's attacking me, abominations lasering me and everything, I can just out heal it and stay alive, guys. So it's possible solo. It's 100% possible solo. As you see right here, it's just absolutely insane and as i said here right here this didn't i survived with this escort drone survived here because i had put it past 100 percent first so it was able to take have some time of taking damage without going down and also as long as you stay close to it so it keeps moving the majority of things that get near it look they just explode just like that and they won't have time to damage it so that's another key is keep it escorting don't get it distracted and let it stay still that's another one for you guys okay but yes the vr11 is pretty much the key for this is keeping it health at 100 percent and even when it, if you've got extra ammo to shoot it and some time to do it i would also just throw an extra bullets at the drone even when it's at 100 percent so that it lasts on 100 percent for longer but again this is absolutely crazy guys so with that said, get down there. If you haven't already, smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you're not already. Leave me an awesome comment and let me know. Do you guys enjoy watching this sort of insane gameplay? And would you guys like me to post some more gameplay of like this? Or you guys just want the glitches? Get down there, let me know in that comment section. And guys, this is where I said... The Casimir grenades will help you at this point of the escort mission here. So also have some for here because this here gets absolutely crazy. Now as you'll see the Casimir has dealt with all the zombies. But then I still had all the manglers left after this. And ah, oh, you'll see. It's crazy. This is so many it's not funny. I think there's like 10 of them or something. But again the supercharged wonder weapons save the day <laughs> now you'll see here we only had three minutes left the last mission is actually really easy the hardest mission of them all is that mission right there the escort mission guys now that is i'm going to say that is insanely difficult if you're solo but as you've seen there it is possible and the the key is that speed cola perk so that you can just out heal any damage that you take if you need to now, that whole escort mission there, as you'll see, we didn't even have an active dog. So if I had have gone down without a self revive, it would have been all over. Now, if we had a dog in that one, it would not not have even survived that amount because it would have just got deleted in a few seconds. So having a dog there wouldn't have really helped us. But as you see, from this reward, we actually get another dog and we're able to call it out. And in the Outlast contract, the next one that we do, the dog is actually really helpful because it just stops the big hordes coming to you but again this scorcher wonder weapon supercharged 
saves the day and makes this all possible solo guys i don't know i don't know what how you'd go about doing this solo without these supercharged wonder weapons i don't even know if it would be possible to keep that escort drone um from dying when you're solo without um the vr11 to keep healing it but yeah guys as you see here that's the two we've got one minute left and even though we've only got one minute left don't be put off this last mission doesn't take long and we were able to get it so as you've seen there we've got the the two schematics now and the final schematic we get from the final mission there's only three contracts in this zone so there's only three schematics to get unfortunate because once you get these three unless you just want to come back to grind for the insane gameplay <laughs> there's not much more to come back here for it's kind of disappointing that it's so short i wish they would actually add more contracts into here with more variety and more different things to be able to unlock but hey maybe that's going to come with season 5 reloaded get down in that comment section and let me know the types of things that you would like to see added to here more dark ethers what sort of things are you would interest you and make you want to keep grinding out interested on what you guys your guys ideas are but as you guys see right here having the dog is actually quite useful i think it's already dead here <laughs> not sure no there it is right there so as you see that's why it's not actually that hectic here because up in the corner my dog is actually up there taking a majority of the heat off us and that's attracting a lot of them because your dog just acts like a decoy that's why the dog is really good healing aura is awesome because it keeps you can use it to keep your dog keep healing your dog and everything guys but simple as easy as as long <laughs> as you don't have trouble with the sheer quantity of <laughs> enemies after you <laughs> i don't know if this one really qualifies as a simple as easy as one today but hey we're getting there we're making it look simple as easy as because we're up there doing it solo <laughs> and guys with that said that is all three contracts completed solo the dark ether mastered and we have all three schematics and as you've seen there the third contract you complete in the ether is the one that's going to be the ether blade so you have to do three to be able to get it with that said thank you guys for watching my videos i'll catch you in the next one be man